Welcome back, everyone. And I must say, I'm quite jealous of what sounds like a really interesting sighting, seeing those zebra playing slash fighting with one another. It's something we very seldom actually see as animals coming to blows with one another. It doesn't happen very often. Interestingly, I've just been watching the most incredible clip that a friend of mine filmed in Botswana of some giraffe fighting. And the one giraffe managed to actually, it was kind of aiming for the back leg of its opponents, and it was lifting it up over its neck. Its leg would then slide down along its neck and be stuck up at this awkward angle on the shoulders of the giraffe, putting its opponents in a very awkward predicament. So I'm going to get a hold of my friend to find out what the bottom of that whole escapade was. But really, very, very interesting stuff. But like I say, we very, very seldom see animals coming to blows with one another. In all my years in the wilderness, I've seen very, very few full-blown fights with any of the species. And it must be said that, of course, they do happen. But I think it's fair to say that wild animals are far less violent than us humans. We could tear a lot of pages out of their book when it comes to this. There certainly can be shouting and voicing of disgust with whatever opponent they are facing up or facing off. But to see them actually come to blows is something you very, very seldom see or that very, very seldomly happens. This young boy, though, he's certainly going to grow up and have a few scuffles in his life, as will his brothers. Hopefully they'll join forces, making themselves a formidable coalition. But like I said a little bit earlier, it'll only be in about a year and a half to two years that these guys get chased out of the pride by the dominant males. That is, of course, if they make it till then, they've still got about another six months before they, in a kind of, I would say, 70% green zone with regards to making it to adulthood, Within their first year, they are definitely the most vulnerable, so they've made it about halfway through that stage with the help of their mothers, who are clearly fast asleep at the moment.